Hello and welcome to another figure unboxing on my channel Veep Investments, the place where we spend our money wisely, kinda not. Today with another anime figure, I have to read the name because I always forget it. It's the Toho Project Kokoro Hatano Stature, the expressive poker face version Keske. Okay, yeah, that's a long name. So, after my last anime figure unboxing from Kana Kamui, from the anime Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, I really didn't thought there could be a figure that's even more cute than Kana, but I found this figure and I fell in love immediately. There are different versions of the figure. There is one version with uh, with a hand fan, I guess. I I will put a picture on here, I guess. And there's also a different color version of her shirt. But I like this version the most with a blue colored shirt. I think the other color is a little bit too dark and doesn't look as good with her hair, but yeah, maybe that's just me. I really like this version a lot, a lot. And I, I really hope the figure is fine after my first anime figure, which arrived broken. I'm a little bit, uh, yes, <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English. Um, Depressed? No, <laughs> depressed is not the right word, but I, yeah, I'm always uh, a little bit uh, carefully, I think carefully is the right word. Oh, I really hope I don't damage the figure while I try to open this. So, this was very, very loud, so I cut the video a little bit here. I hope there's nothing wrong with the figure. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. Okay. This looks fine, I guess, but I... Still need the base, so I don't know where to put this. So there was more tape and more tape and now I finally got the base. Or maybe there's even more tape somewhere, yes, I, I forgot some tape. So this is the spear or this a lens has this a special name. I, I don't know. It's quite heavy. I think this is oh not screwable, it's just okay. Then we have the base with some uh, is this a ginkgo leaf? It's not super special, but uh, I think the figure, uh, I would say don't need a, the figure doesn't need a great base, but could be a little bit cooler. But the best part from this figure is the puffy dress, I guess, for me. But there's some, something inside, okay. Has so many details on this figure, which can easily be damaged, but I think everything looks fine. So I can put this plastic to the side. Finally, <laughs> I hope you didn't hear this. Um, so. Hope I find the right pins. It's more stable than I thought. It's uh, holding right, right nice, quite nice. So where do I put the spear? 
or how? I think this belongs here. So the character design is from a mobile game, I guess, or video game. I haven't heard from this game before. I just saw the figure with the hand fan. And yes, I hope it's nice to see for you. So the best part for me was the dress and the cutout faces. There are some smiley faces and sad faces. And yeah, you can through you can see through the dress. And can see her legs. And I'm a big fan of the traditional Japanese uh, uni mask. Or oh, this is not only oni mask, uh, there's a kitsun mask too. And um the the whole dynamic of the figure, the pose. Hope you can see this. She has a really strong pose with her hand and the spear in the other hand, and how the hair is floating, and even the the hair tips have a quite uh, color gradient. So, yeah, I'm super happy with this figure, even if, uh, yeah, it wasn't quite cheap, it was uh, very expensive, I think it's the most expensive anime figure I own at the moment. But yes, we are here at Weep Investments and uh, as I said before, we spend our money wisely, so yeah, it's a one seven or one. It's a one eighth, uh, eighth scale. So quite small, but it it looks or because of the puffy dress, it looks a little bit uh, bigger. And quality wise, I uh, can't find a lot that. So there's a little bit in the hair, some color. Or dust. I, I don't know how to say this, but yes, this is this figure is so beautiful. I will show you some close ups. The dress looks like a pumpkin, so. I think the figure was first released uh, in the time of uh, Halloween. So I think it fits very well to Halloween. Also the color work on her dress is fabulous. So um, I hope you liked this unboxing. If you want to see more Please uh, consider subscribing and see you in the next figure unboxing.